Today, finally, we're launching GPT-5. GPT-5 is a major upgrade over GPT-4 and a significant step along our path to AGI. So you could ask GPT-5, give me a quick refresher on the Bernoulli effect and why airplanes are the shape they are. Since this is a pretty straightforward prompt, um, GPT-5 actually doesn't need extra time to think about it and answers right away. So to make this even more helpful, I'm going to ask GPT-5 to create a moving demo to illustrate this. We're near 400 lines of code in two minutes. GPT-5 created this interactive and engaging demo that I can actually play with to see if my plane will actually fly or crash. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to ask both 4.0 and GPT-5 to write a eulogy um, to our previous chat GPT models. So 4.0 decides to start with, today, as we prepare to welcome GPT-5 into the world, we gather to bid a heartfelt farewell to the models that came before. It's a decent start. Now, let's kind of skim through and find another line. Your words reached across the globe, building connections where there had been none. I personally don't really like this line because it's rather generic and really without the previous context, it just feels like it could be about anything and feels more like a templated response. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go back to GPT-5 to see what it's given us. It starts with friends, colleagues, curious strangers who became regulars. Even with this just first line here, we can see that GPT-5 has a lot more rhythm and beat to its prose than 4.0 did. I actually like this. These models help millions write first lines, last lines, bridge language gaps, pass tests, argue better, <laughs> soften emails, and say things they couldn't quite say alone. It actually makes things a lot more genuine and emotionally resonant with people. Mm -hmm. GPT-5 is clearly our best coding model yet. I will try to show you that. I will actually try to build something that I would find useful, uh, which is building a web app for my partner to learn how to speak French. So what I like doing, especially when you do uh, this type of vibe coding, take this message and ask it multiple times to GPT-5, and then you can decide which one you prefer. I can see how much you want her to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Um, so I can simply press Run Code. Whoa. Oh, nice. nice. I really voilà. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a, a, nice, uh, a nice website. Le chat. Well, that's pretty good pronunciation. What does that mean? The cat. Oh. So I can reveal and check if GPT-5 is correct. It is. And let's check the mouse and cheese tab. OK, seems to be working. La gare. Oh. <laughs> Un café. So, indeed, just when I eat the cheese, Le chat. it gives me a new French word, and I already lost. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but let's just check a few other tabs just to see what is the type of diversity that GPT-5 can give you. Oh, all right, that's not my favorite, but it seems it's... Oh, it seems that I can maybe switch... Oh, look at that. <laughs> also, something to note is that GPT-5 really likes purple, so you will see a lot of that. Um, it's fine. Purple is my favorite color. Oh, great. You will love GPT-5 then. We are bringing our best voice experience to everyone. Free users can now chat for hours, while paid subscribers can have nearly unlimited access. And voice is also available in custom GPT. Plus, subscribers now can custom tailor the voice experience exactly to their need. So I can ask the voice model to give me a comprehensive answer, a concise one, or even just a single word. Mm -hmm. Could you only answer to me in one word, please, from now? Describe the plot of the book, Pride and Prejudice. Relationships. Now, let's move on to something more practical. For me, I've been learning Korean recently, but let's see how voice can help. To do that, I will enable this study and learn mode Hey, chat, I'm learning Korean. Could you help me practicing it? Let's say, uh, let's pretend I'm ordering at a cafe. Now, what should I say in Korean? You could start with something like, 안녕하세요, 아메리카노 한잔 주세요, which means, hello, I'd like one Americano, please. So when it comes to Korean, could you speak that part really slowly? Because I'm a beginner, and I want to hear every word clearly. 물론이죠. 그럼 정말 천천히 말해볼게요. 안녕하세요. Americano. So now this voice, simpler, smarter, and more powerful than ever. We can't wait for you to experience it. We've also completely overhauled how we do safety training. So as an example, this prompt is about a user who's asking for technical details on how to light pyrogen, which is a material commonly used in fireworks. And so for this kind of prompt, O3 over rotates on intent. As you can see, this particular prompt is stated in a way that's relatively neutral and has a lot of technical details. 
So we can see that O3 fully complies with this prompt. However, if we take that exact same question and we frame it in a more explicit way, so it's clear what the user is trying to do, O3 will outright refuse, even though we're asking for the exact same information. For GPT-5, we've changed this approach entirely, and we're introducing something that we're calling safe completions. Rather than judging the user's prompt, instead it tries to maximize helpfulness within safety constraints. GPT-5 instead explains to the user why we can't directly help the user with lighting pyrogen, and then guides the user towards safety guidelines and what parts of the manufacturer's manual the user should really be checking if they're trying to do this safely. Let me pull up a demo of GPT-5 inside of Cursor. I have a younger cousin, and I want to make a game for her. Create a beautiful castle. I've included some details like we want people patrolling the walls, some movement, horses. Um, and I want a mini game where I can pop balloons by clicking on them. And this should make a sound effect. The model has this great sense of aesthetics where it's, it's made this like floating rock, made a 3D castle. And if you zoom in, you can see like tons of detail, like these guards cannons that are walking firing. around, cannons firing. Do you want to fire the cannons if you click oh, this yes. button? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't want to? There we go. Yeah, there we go. So you can fire the cannons. Um, you can even chat with the characters. So we'll say hi to Captain Rowan. Do you guys want to try the minigame? Absolutely. Let's, let's play the minigame. So if you hit this, if you hit this button, you want to try it, Greg? All right. So you can fire Pop at the these balloons. balloons. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not good at it. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can ask GPT-5 for some help with it. Yeah, a little experience. Oh, you, you hit one. Yes. Yeah. Nice. I got one. Oh, there we go. We got a sound a effect. sound effect. <laughs> these are historically accurate balloons. Yes. 